All right guys, this is the new lens. So last video I mentioned I was getting another lens. It's here. So this is the 20 millimeter, baby. Look how wide this shit is. It's wide and you can see me a lot better with like minimal light. So I can bump the ISO up a lot more with this lens than I could with my other wide angle because it was a zoom lens and zoom lenses suck. But workout's done. Workout's done, it went amazing. So I've been traveling every weekend. I just got back again from traveling, which is what the beginning of the video was. So I just hit an arm workout. I tried to get in here quick because it is 3 a.m. And the workout went amazing. So feeling very full on this bulk. And I just really can't wait to see like how far I can push it and looking forward to like cutting next year and seeing what I what I built. If I would have known what I know now about, about training mostly and recovery that I did like two years ago, I'd be so much farther than I am now because that was my biggest thing was like, I really didn't know how to train right and I wasn't recovering at all. I was training seven days a week. Yeah, now training is dialed. Diet isn't dialed, honestly. I'm more of like just eating whatever, but um, I'm loving it. So um, there's a little update for you guys. Um, I'm gonna head home. I gotta get some food. I really fuck with this setup though. So let me know in the comments, guys, if you like the way I have this set up. Um, this lens is so light that I can just toss this camera up on this mount and there's no way that this thing is is coming off my windshield. I do got to keep this light on though because my car is black and if you know anything about black cars, it's extremely dark inside of them. So my tint is very dark and I got pulled over today. I got pulled over today for my license plate light being out, which I didn't even know you had a license plate light. I just realized that when I got pulled over, but I guess it's out. So he just let me go, no ticket. But yeah, I also got a parking ticket today. So this, um, $10 for this parking ticket because I never set the meter, which, you know, it is what it is. I don't really care. 10 bucks, fuck it. But I also have tickets from New York from when I went to New York. If you guys ever drive to New York, you're driving around nonchalantly, you're probably getting charged for every fucking bridge you go under because we've gotten sent so many toll bills from there that they've added up to like 250 bucks or something and I haven't even, I'm not paying the $200. Like I'm not, I'm not paying it. It's That's stupid, I'm not paying it. So I'm probably never gonna go back to New York <laughs> or not for a while. I don't know the legal system with not paying tolls and stuff. I paid a $60 one that added up, but other than that, dude, I'm not paying no more. So, all right guys, I'm gonna catch you guys at the house. <laughs> all right guys, good morning, it's the next day. As you guys can see, uh, it's actually, weather's beautiful today. It's been shitty in Michigan for the past week. Like, it's just been on and off rain. So it's nice to get some sun. Probably the last of it, considering it's end of August. But the winter arc is coming, dude, and I can't wait. I can't wait for snow, I'm not gonna lie. I know like a lot of people are like, oh, why would you want snow? Because it means it's gonna be cold and snow's like snow. But for me, I don't know, I love snow and my content does way better <laughs> in the snow and I enjoy filming in the snow yeah looking forward to it and then just like the whole feeling of like you know hoodies and sweats to the gym and just like that feeling of just like locking in and like a winter arc so nice but today it's sunday so we got legs later this shit's way overexposed i don't have an nd filter for this lens but yeah we still have cardio right now so we're gonna go for a walk and then i'll catch you guys later First meal of the day is ground turkey, 93.7, garden vegetable rice. Um, this is about, I don't even know the calories on this. I don't track calories anymore. It's a little late. It's, I think it's like 3 p.m. already. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get this fucking meal in. I'm starving. So also, sunk is zero sugar. But yeah, all right, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna eat this. Peace. Yo, all right, just finished this freaking edit. I'm gonna throw this edit up right here. Yeah, just finished this. Now, knock down a bowl of cereal before we get ready to head to dinner later. And then after that, we're gonna go to the gym. You got something to say? 
Here. Check the fit. Let me see the fit. I don't know what would it, the sacks match my. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Don't put that in there. I'm putting that in there. Dude, I always look at the I always look at the screen instead of looking at the lens. Cause like you can see when I'm like vlogging if I'm looking at the screen. Okay guys, so little tip for y'all. You guys, if you make YouTube videos, you should start editing them as soon as you get done. Like, or as soon as you start like shooting it, you gotta start editing it. I'm working on the video that you guys are watching right now. This is like the intro to it, so I just put it on my hard drive or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna go to dinner, but why are you sleeping? We slept till like we slept till like 1:30, so there's no way you should be tired. There's no way I'm tired. We got dead tonight, so I'm excited. But yeah, all right. Take forever to film stuff. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, here's like the workout concoction. If you know me, I love my pre workout concoctions. I've always tried to like mix it up. I used to mix monsters with my pre workout, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that was crazy times. Now we're mixing Red Bull instead. So we got a Red Bull. We're gonna mix it with. Wait, this is not healthy. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do this. This is, I took a half scoop of this. This stuff will actually rock your world, man. This stuff is insane. I literally can't fall asleep when I take it. And then this, uh, 80 milligrams of caffeine. So we're deadlifting and stuff, and I have legs, so we need it. I really don't think you need that. I need it. I need it all. I need all the caffeine I can get. <laughs> Stop, give me my Red Bull, dude. So this is 350 milligrams, and I think, I took like Wait, half a scoop. can you just put half and I'll So I'll do half, half the Red Bull, that's a good idea. I'll just do half, so yeah. then I'm rounding up to like, 250 and then you can have the rest of it. Yeah, so that works. All right Some dirty ASMR man, okay, that's good. I want the rest All right catch you guys at the gym So my back's been feeling really shitty all freaking week. So no deadlifts today. Just gonna hit legs. So quads, probably hamstrings, adductors, and calves will probably hit everything. Probably just focus mainly on hamstring movements. So I'm going to actually start with RDLs instead of deadlifts. Directly hit the hamstrings right off the bat. And then we'll get into some more quad stuff. But I low-key feel like my hamstrings are not an underrated part of my body. Like a lot of people have lagging hamstrings. For me, I feel like they aren't lagging a ton but obviously it can be brought up. I just think they're probably equal to my quads. Since my back feels completely obliterated today, probably no heavy squatting or no hack squats. I'm probably gonna do leg extensions, leg press, that type of shit. But um, yeah, all right, let's get into it. I promised myself as a little boy, I said I can never leave the gym knowing I have 5% left. 5% is magic. That's the magic place where very few people go. You can go there. Drop 
flip just tossed it off my back. It fell down. Bit up again and continued to sit. You gotta go out there and fall down. Most people have won big and failed big. Okay? Right now you find yourself 5% away from being a champ. All right, guys, so I'm gonna answer some of these questions that you guys asked me on Instagram. All right, first question, would you ever buy a cine lens? They're very expensive and they're made for like um, the high, high-end cameras. I don't think I'd ever buy one unless I have like the FX6. But right now I'm just a small YouTuber, Instagram dude. So no, not right now. Next question, how do I film by myself? When you're filming by yourself, it's gonna take a lot more effort. If you guys look at my videos, um, everything's filmed by myself, except for some of the tracking shots you guys see where it's like me lifting or gimbal shots that um, I'm obviously like walking or something. But everything is filmed by me. So when you do that, you have to learn what angles look the best. So you have to like set the tripod up, go do your spot, make sure your autofocus is right, make sure your ISO is right, make sure everything's perfect on your settings before you get the shot. Right? Like you have to try to keep it as entertaining as you can because obviously if everything's on a tripod or in my case a slider, um, sometimes it can get a little boring. So making sure you're switching up the variety of shots. Try all the different angles, try every different thing. That's the biggest thing for filming by yourself. 
making sure you have a camera with a flip out screen because I didn't for a long time and it really fucked me. All right, next question. Favorite lens to use, I'm guessing. So my favorite lens to use right now that I have is probably this one that I just got, <laughs> this 20 millimeter, cause look how wide it is. Like it's really sick and I've been using it for the night B-roll. So it's actually my favorite lens right now. Um, the 85 was my favorite, the Sigma 85. If you guys are looking at what gear I use, if you guys wanna know, cause I get DMs about it all the time, literally just go, the description go to my amazon link it's all there click camera gear everything in there is mostly mine there's a couple things i don't have everything else is everything i use so all right last question how do i grow my fitness page this is actually like a really tough question it's kind of like a broad question but because if you want to like truly grow your page you want to be posting original content creative content something that like really draws like an audience to you and not just like a following where you're posting like trends and like just your physique like if you look crazy and you want to post your physique that can get you followers but if you really like want people to like fuck with you use your code and all that shit you gotta like show your personality um do shit like youtube you know show just show your personality a little bit don't just be like a face or like a body because the market of content is so saturated that if you really want to stand out put some effort in and like really try and post quality content i preach this a lot it's quality over quantity like you can post 30 times a day but if it's not quality, it doesn't matter. If you do wanna grow your fitness page, you do need to post every day. Uh, I posted every day for six months. Uh, I think it was like November, November of last year to um, around like February, March, I posted every single day, except for maybe like a Sunday here and there. And then I kind of like stopped posting every day. I post two reels in a row and then I'll take a break and I'll post again. I kind of just like keep it so it's fresh, but grow your fitness page, be original, creative, Put a lot of quality and effort into your content and really try and like actually connect with people and provide value. And that is it for the questions. Appreciate those questions from y'all. But yeah, um, leg workout went really good. I My back's absolutely like destroyed. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna end up taking tomorrow off and hopefully Tuesday we feel good. I don't know, but yeah, workout was really solid. I, I love going to the gym when there's like nobody there, one person because like you can truly just unlock like that fucking that potential bro you can unlock that like you know what i'm saying you can like really just let everything out that you're going through like the demons and the fucking just all the pain you've been through bro you just let that shit out it's so fucking nice dude that's why that's why i go to the gym at night that's why i make this content it's just like i can just like truly like just be myself and like enjoy lifting i want to like inspire y'all if y'all ever need to talk for real though I'm, I'm always here something i wanted to like talk to you guys about was like you have to stop surrounding yourself with negative influences and negative people negative things like for example rap music is like horrible for you like i've been i love rap i like listening to rap it makes me feel hype it makes me feel like i'm a gangster and some shit but it's so bad for you like mentally and if you're always listening to it it's gonna have like a negative effect on you and you're gonna like see things different and you're also gonna be angry all the time or like you're gonna like you're gonna like think of women the wrong way it's just not healthy so i've been incorporating a lot of different music i listen to alternative i listen to motivational stuff i, I have a soundcloud playlist that's got a bunch of like lex little audios on it and stuff so I really enjoy that and like listening to motivational stuff too, or listening to eBooks or listen to a podcast, listen to something that's gonna like help your mental and also like help you learn shit too. Also surrounding yourself with the right people is super important. Make sure you have the right people around you, bro. I see so many people and friends of mine from the past that um, I'm not really friends with or close with anymore because they just, they surround themselves with, you know, people that don't have ambition or don't have any goals in life. They just wanna drink and party their, their life away, I guess which isn't me. So, you know, I'm just out here on a Sunday night. Just got back from leg workout and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm fine being by myself sometimes. Like I'm, I'm good by myself doing my own thing most of the time, but make sure you guys surround yourself with people. If you're going to have a lot of friends, make sure they're the right ones, bro. And they're going to help you and they're going to push you. I have really good friends that live states away. Like don't even live near me, bro, because I can't find the right people to surround myself with here where I live. You have to make sacrifices for yourself if you really want to grow into the person you want to be. So I love you guys. That's all I got. Um, I'm going to end the video there. I appreciate you guys for real. For anyone that watches this, you are important, bro. And freaking love you. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.